The cloud computing vision actually dictates much higher scale numbers than what vCenter server can currently support. And that's where vCenter link mode and search fit in. vCenter link mode actually gives you the capability to increase on this scalability limit by adding more vCenter servers to your, to your organization. Different sections of the organization could have their own vCenter server and then use link mode to get shared access to that information. In v Virtual Center 2.5, administrators had to individually administrate each Virtual Center instance separately. They needed to have a, a, a UI client open for each of these and then switch between them in order to check what's going on. Uh, with linked mode, what we have done is that uh, since all of this information ha is being pulled together by the server itself, so they only need one client to connect to this linked mode group, and then the entire infrastructure is on their fingertips in this, this one client window. And with the service status, they can also like keep tabs on the service status of all of these virtual centers in one place. vCenter linked mode actually uh, adds a, a lightweight directory access protocol server to virtual center. And um, we use this lightweight directory access protocol called LDAP to communicate between virtual center server instances. The center server lets you share data between instances, such as roles, privileges, licensing information. Uh, we also share connection information on the LDAP server. And that's how the VI client actually knows the set of uh, vCenter servers which are part of the, the link mode group. Once you log into the vSphere client, uh, the, the client initiates connections to each of the vCenter servers, uh, which are part of the link mode group. And after that, it creates um, filters on each of the vCenter servers to retrieve inventory information and display that to the user. To access information in such a diverse and large in, uh, environment as the cloud, you need, uh, you need ways to actually get to that information in a very fast way. And that's what search provides you. And especially when you have multiple vCenters in a cloud environment for scale purposes, to get that information in a rapid fashion, search is going to be your only way to do that in the future. We have a backend for um, the search called the, the query service, which, which we install as part of the vCenter management web services. The search actually provides you with um, capability to search for, for example, uh, for Bob's VM, or search by annotation on any VM, is lightning fast in comparison to conventional methods. We store uh, all of the information that is required to be searched on in an in a external cache outside of vCenter server itself. So it also takes a significant amount of load off vCenter server to get this data. To make it easier for the administrator to keep tabs on everything that's going on in their infrastructure, we really needed a centralized place which would show what's, uh, what's the status of everything in the system, and if anything's wrong, what's the reason for the error. So, so one of the new services that we built into vCenter server as a part of vSphere 4.0 is the health service. This is a web application that's deployed onto Tomcat in our new vCenter management web services uh, window service. Um, so this health service uh, registers all the components and subcomponents that vCenter server has and periodically polls each of these components for their health and service status and any error or warning messages. This polling happens every 30 seconds and it combines all this information together and exposes it as a whole cohesive thing to the BI client. So what we've done with linked mode and the service status is that we have uh, delivered a lot more new innovative features with, uh, and at the same time keeping the administrative aspects of it in control and making it easier to actually administer things. <laughs>